Kia ora Aotearoa, welcome to Let's Be Frank, Alt TV's current affairs show. Sadly, Oliver Driver can't be with us tonight because he's away shooting under the mountain. So I'll be standing in for him. Auckland, if you can't win it, you can't win the election. Who will be best for our biggest city, National or Labour? On tonight's Let's Be Frank, in the red corner, current Auckland Central MP and Associate Minister of Transport, the Honourable Judith Tizard. In the blue corner, the National Party Auckland Central candidate and Vice Chairman of the Youth Democratic Union, an international right-wing political party think tank, Nikki Kaye. Thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. In living memory, Auckland Central has never gone national, and it has a long history of electing mavericks, from Sandra Lee to Richard <laughs> Preble. Last election, Pansy Wong pulled almost 12,000 votes, with Nandor taking 5,000. Judith, you got about 16,000. With the Green campaigning for the party vote and not the electorate vote mm. now, why should Auckland Central Green voters give either of you their votes? Judith, why should Green voters give you their vote? Well, because Auckland needs a Labour-led government. Why? Because of investment. New Zealand needs an international city that is effective and efficient. Mm -hmm. And I, as a born and bred Aucklander, want to see Auckland a good place to live in and to work in. But why would Green and Party supporters Green get, people get move for you? know that National doesn't give a bugger about the environment, they pay lip service to us. Uh, Nikki spent the last couple of weeks saying vote for me in spite of National's environmental policies. Mm -hmm. what, I, what I'm saying is that Green voters need a Labour-led government and I have proved that I can work across the board uh, for Auckland and get the investment and not ruin the environment. Labour passed the ETS, which as, uh, most Green um, mm. Party people find a very weak, weak, mm -hmm. weak step mm -hmm. in the right direction, mm -hmm. but an incredibly weak Absolutely. step nevertheless. Is, that, is it the best you can offer as a weak step? No, the best we can offer is the votes we can get in Parliament. Yep. And if Green have more votes, and Nandor campaigned last time exactly on the same basis yep. Yep. Uh, that Denise is this time, saying give me, give me your party vote. He didn't vote for the seat, uh, he didn't yeah. campaign for the seat. No. I'm saying to Green voters, you need a Labour-led government. You're going to need these voters if you want to topple their margin. Yeah. Why should they come to National? Well, first I'll say a couple of things. So just yep. a couple of things have been said yep. incorrectly. Um, firstly, I haven't <laughs> been um, campaigning. Sorry, Nikki, so, you have. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, that's wrong. Um, but, but secondly, what I'd say is, as, I'm, as far as I understand it, whilst the Green Party have said that their major thrust is the um, party vote, yep. Denise Roche has not said that she's not going for the electorate. Right? That's what she said last but, night. Oh, no, oh, she so, oh, no, no, she didn't. That, 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 that's no, true. she didn't. That, that, we, yeah. have not had a, we have not had a statement. No, um, they Denise yeah, Roche, yeah. Roche actually saying that. Until we, we see that, then, um, you know, and, and until they endorse another candidate. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. desperate there. No, no. Look, at the end of the day, if you can show me a statement of Denise saying that. Denise was asked last night, as every candidate was, uh, why should we vote for you for Auckland Central? Her answer was, I'm going for the party vote. No, but after that, she said, but if you want to vote for me for the electorate vote. So and that's she exactly actually, what she actually didn't said. say. But that. Green Party supporters know that there's very little point Green, voting Green, for Green But, let, but let, right? me, let me yep. finish now what, what I was going to yeah. say. Um, so, but, so you're right. Though. There is a key issue here. Yeah. Why should Green Party voters um, vote for me? My view is, look, I am a person who is uh, very passionate about the environment. Yep. I think in terms of the scale of people with a national, I am someone who um, is, uh, the environment is very high on my agenda. Okay. And what I've said is, look, there is a very high chance that we'll have a national government. Mm -hmm. If you want a strong environmental voice in it within national, then you'll be voting for me. Because at the end of the Because you're the day, best they've got? Yes, exactly. Well, <laughs> you, well, well, not necessarily the best that they've got. Yeah. I said I'll be a strong environmental Voice, voice. I mean, the last for the last couple of months that I've been selected, yep. I've been on Great Barrier. Uh, a couple of months ago, I went over there. I've spoken to people about marine protection moving forward. Yep. I've been um, on the ground uh, twice twice a month. I've been over on Waiheke. I recognise that both Great Barrier and Waiheke are key environmental hubs, and I've been spending the time with those people. Mm -hmm. I've built the relationships, and I feel the feeling that I am getting from those people is that they are seeing me as a force to be reckoned with in terms of the if, 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 national, hold, hold, if, if, if national do get in, John Key has said that he will start tinkering with the ETS. That's now, right. while the Greens might look at, look at Jude and say, hey, a bloody weak step and doesn't really go nearly far enough, We've got John Key sort of saying that he'll, he'll be tinkering look, with that move We've already. released our ETS policy. We've yep. said we're committed to an emissions trading scheme. Okay. So and just what, we said, again. what we've said is by January 2010, yep. we will be introducing an emissions trading and, scheme. And they, so and they will all, have all we're 50 here, reduction all by we're, 50, all 2050. All we're, all, we're all we're saying here is, in principle, we commit to an emissions trading scheme. But what we're saying is, having 785 oh. amendments, yep. with, no which, which, which is with no consultation, yep. with no consultation, is not the right way to 
I'm sorry, sorry, but bills have to get through, yep. and there had been a huge amount the of consultation. I matters. sat and sat and sat. Of course the process matters. What you've also got to have is a result. Yep. So you can't go on with the process forever. What we wanted was the ETS through before Look. the election, and that's what we've got. Uh, let well, me move on, let me move on. Auckland Central has the largest percentage of unregistered voters. Yep. Is this apathy to do with the woeful lack of leadership in this city to make the place vibrant. Some would say the difference between Auckland Central and a pot of yoghurt is that a pot of yoghurt has an active culture. How can you cut through the self-interested rate tape that makes and make Auckland vibrant? I mean, we still don't have a 400-seat theatre. Absolutely. It's been talked about for a decade and, and nothing. And if you look at what Auckland City Council, who do have the responsibility yep. for this, have done, the only progress was when my mother was the mayor. Right. And I take no particular credit for that, apart from the fact I'm very fond of my mother. But mm -hmm. where the hell would we be without the Aotea Centre? And nothing has been done since. And that's what I and tell you. And you've been you, in national, government for nine national years, party and you've done nothing. Council. You've done nothing That's on what this. A National Party Council will lead us to. Mm -hmm. And my argument has been we put culture in as a purpose for local government to get away with the stupid excuses. Uh, the Helen and Trevor Mallard went and got the World Cup. Uh, the reason we got the development we did in Auckland uh, up to 1990 was mainly because of the Commonwealth Games. Mm -hmm. Where are the major events? Where is the council leadership? The mm. council has had plans on the block. I mean, I have been to the council and talked to them about live music. Yep. Uh, the council is deliberately, through their noise policy, closing down live music venues. So how can you stop that? Well, central government can't do it all. Right. I mean, what we said was we would get out of the way of local government and tell them to get on with the job. And I've been saying to Auckland Central, where is the where is the 400 seat theatre? Yep. Where is the 1200 seat opera house? Where is anywhere that you would go for live music, particularly that doesn't have booze, so that kids can actually go? A where lot, are the a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of excuses there? Yeah. A lot of excuses. No excuses. Yeah. How, 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 yeah. do we, how do we cut through that red tape? Well, I think a couple of things. I think you're right. In the last nine years, we haven't seen progress. We've recently had the CBD venue study, which yep. has identified the fact that there is need for the three different types of theatres yep. a flexi form theatre, yep. drama theatre. There is also a need for a 1200 Because of course seat. the queue needs to go, which I've also worked very hard Yeah, yeah, yeah well, no, no, give, well, give and, and the first thing I would say is I do acknowledge the work that June has done on the arts. Unquestioned, but my, unquestioned. But my belief is there is a hell of a lot to do, and that is a key area that we, have, nice. that we have failed. And all I've said is, look, I'm not our finance minister, yep, yep. but what I can say, <laughs> what I can say no. is that I will work hard um, to ensure that we do okay. solve this venue crisis. So I don't the, think it's just about local government. Okay. With all due respect, Judith is a pretty connected person. I mean, I mean and, and, and she could get stuff done in all Well, she hasn't done this particular issue. It's true, but how would someone with your limited connections, well, how, how would you be able to force someone like John Banks forward? Well, I think there's two things. The first thing that I'd say is we have a centre right council, yep. and I think that I have. You could work better with them. Well, yeah, I, I, I think that I, I think it's natural. So, so, so why let me finish. What, let me finish. Yep. I think that it is natural that I will have a good relationship with that council, partly well, because it's centre right. Now. And the second, and the second thing, <laughs> the second thing that I'd say is, in terms of connections, look, I've been working very, very hard in the last yep. five months. I feel that, um, and I can't talk about internal polling, but I feel one of the reasons that we are doing well in Auckland Central is because because of the work that I have done to build relationships with key people, okay. both in the, and this is across Nikki the Nikki keeps making divide, this wild assertion, I'd love to divide. see polls. Oh, well, I think we'd all love <laughs> yeah. I think we'd let, all love Quickly, quickly move on. Auckland City Councillor Paul Goldsmith mm. yes. was recently heavily criticised by calling for a virtual pogrom the to time. clean the streets of homeless people mm -hmm. in central Auckland. Strong. What do both of you believe? should be the solution to Auckland Central's well, homeless population. As you know, I put out a statement. I yep. think an attack on homeless people is just unconscionable. Mm -hmm. I have worked with the Auckland City Mission, I have talked to the police, uh, I have worked with work and income yep. and uh, social development in Auckland. Uh, the Auckland Anglican City Mission has had a brilliant programme which they have run, uh, which looked at the health, uh, mental health uh, and general welfare of people who are homeless. Yep. Uh, it got a number of them into permanent housing. Yep. We need really good, flexible housing um, styles across Auckland yep. uh, so that people can live where they need to and where they feel comfortable. So, you, so you'd see more of that housing? Yes, certainly. And, and again, there's a massive project that the City Mission That's is building with Housing New Zealand. Um, I introduced the City Missioner to the Minister of Housing yep. and said, can we get on with this? It was done under the last City Vision Labour Council. That's right. And I will commend John Banks' Council. They have gone ahead with the commitment to the open space that will be mm -hmm. involved with it. But it's that sort of quality uh, housing for people in the CBD 
uh, that has some community around it, yeah. I and mean, we can't go on building shoeboxes, and that's what I fear.